Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Fortunately, my ass couldn't fall asleep last night. I dozed off for uh, a few minutes, maybe, at one point with Priya. I was trying to make it easier that I could, you know, get a good night's sleep on the recliner. Excuse me, me. I decided I was going to sleep on the recliner so I didn't disturb Terry, get up in the morning. Couldn't fall the freak to sleep. I did doze off, like I said, I dozed off for a little bit because I woke up and my contacts were like triscuits. It was just, oh, so bad. I had finally had to pull them out and soak them. I really wish they'd call me with something. My glasses would be great, but I think they said my glasses were three weeks and my contacts were two. Yesterday should have been two weeks. Of course, that was order me. So maybe they'll call me today. But uh, yeah, so pulled them out, made myself a peppermint cup of tea. It was up until 5 o'clock in the morning. I finally started falling asleep watching uh, the Apple Circle, his new iOS, or uh, Apple uh, iPhone 15 uh, things, whatever. I guess Apple's not selling the lower models at all. <laughs> They've cut production, and they cannot build enough Pro and Pro Maxes this year at all. So it could eff greatly affect next year's lineup. I don't know. I kind of surprised. I really felt like, you know, people would jump at getting an iPhone that was, you know, still it's going to be a decent phone for a lower price point. But hey, you know, I, I, I know I go to the extreme with the one terabyte, the Pro Max for the videos, but uh, what's going on here? Kind of hate having my jacket over the watch because if it zooms it, it's gripped a little. But yeah, so that finally, I finally dozed off. I woke up in the middle of another view, another video of going over iOS 15 or 16 beta. So, which there was some sort of something downloaded yesterday. I don't know what that was even about. Okay, on my way to my mom's and then uh, be try to get this done quickly so I can get home. We can have a day with Priya. We got to run up to the vet get their paperwork because next week Mateo is going for a second opinion on his allergies to the vet right there below our house and I mean Terry had a nice conversation with him because she takes the bird over there so it potentially might just end up make a hell of a lot easier a lot safer for us we have an issue we just set up down right down there because um, driving up to the other vet is just pain in the ass with the construction. All right, we're going to try to do this unboxing as fast as possible so this thing doesn't collapse on me. Uh, here we go. Here is the brand new shift cam, snap grip, snap pod, snap light, snap shoe. And I also got the package with Kickstarter with the shift cam pro grip full package. All right, I already did an open box kind of fish in a way, like I mentioned earlier. So there's your snap pod, your snap light, your snap shoe, your snap grip case. It's kind of interesting that they packaged it separately and your snap grip. And over here we have the pro grip, which I'm currently been using for the last year about. You know what? Probably be simpler. Just open it from the bottom. Not so many flaps. All right, let's see how big this guy is. I'm guessing he's not very, very big. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to show it on the device right at the moment because I'm filming with it. But there is the snap grip, and it does come with a magnetic pad if you don't have an iPhone. So you have a MagSafe basically type pad. They give you a SIM injection tool, which is kind of interesting considering that shouldn't really be a thing for this, but okay. And you get a USB-C cable to charge because this is not only a shutter grip, but it is a QI charger too. Um, the Pro Grip's gonna have a bigger battery in it than this one, but that is much, much smaller. Here's my original one versus the new one, now granted I have my Rode Wireless Go all mounted up on this one. So, and this one's kind of been retrofitted because I broke my uh, quarter 20 thread at the bottom of it. This does not have any quarter 20 threads. 
so and no cold shoe built in whereas the pro grip you get a quarter 20 you get a strap and you, you yeah you get a cold shoe quarter 20 and a, and a nice strap that's something i kind of actually use when i'm walking around i kind of hold it like this a lot and then you know bring it up and shoot film vlog that's how what i've been using but we're going to give this guy a try and um one of the gadgets that I have coming for the 14 Pro Max, this is for the 13, is the small rig cage. I'm hoping that fits in there. It looks like it might. It definitely will fit in the back. It's just a matter of whether or not this lays up, raises up enough for this. But I think it's going to. I think that's going to snap right in there. And then this gives you cold shoe mounts here and here and quarter 20s all the way around the darn thing. So, to use it the way I use it, an extra accessory is needed, but not for everybody. That's why you get some of these other accessories. All right, the pouch, which we'll throw it in. Actually, we're gonna throw it on the charger, so we're not gonna do that right now. Okay, let's move on, and we're gonna go with the bottom of the box again. And we have here the Snap Shoe. Now, this was an added, X, an added $30 after the Kickstarter. This was something they brought out afterwards. You get another magnetic pad, which is kind of nice. So you could, you know, if one goes bad, if you order enough things, I guess you're going to get plenty of them. But this guy, so basically the concept is everything snaps. That's the inside. Everything snaps together. Now, right now there is a cellophane over it that I haven't removed. So now you have a cold shoe mount connected now this rotates as well so you can do landscape and portrait not sure exactly what wrote oh does that ring rotate or just i'm not sure we will have to see how that works when you actually put it on the phone but yeah okay but this all connects together so moving on we'll go with the light and it injured gerber going to get another yeah I'm gonna have a ton of these my goodness so you get another charger cable you get another magnetic pad and then you get your light and I guess they simplified this so you have one two three four four stages of lighting and then press the hold to power off okay so we already have our uh, shoe on there and then you would just snap your light on there and I have it upside down because if you want to use it as a selfie it actually swings up and the light would be facing you now I probably have things on here backwards you probably wouldn't have the cold shoe in front of the light so but I'm just putting it together just to show you that it all magnetizes together and slowly build your device out to about here <laughs> All right, moving on to, okay, charging cable fell out, the pod. Now, this guy here seems pretty interesting because it's got like a swivel head on it, too. And you get another, another. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe you don't get one with this. I'm shocked. Or do you? Wow, this does not give you. So... This gives you the option to go quarter 20 at the bottom. So you can go to just a tripod if you wanted to, or you also get the handle. So you thread that together. Like I said, it's got a, you can angle it a little bit. I mean, it's not severe, but kind of like uh, you get with a lot of the gimbals and stuff anymore. Get a neat little tripod. So if you want to set it up and do like what I'm doing now, but I'm really high in the air to do all this. And then, like I said, obviously you're not gonna snap that to the light. So we're gonna go that way. The S should always be facing out. Okay, that's just, I don't have it tight. Now it's tight. So now I have a, like a nice little vlogging rig. Nice little vlogging rig there. And then you would go, well, I guess you wouldn't put your snow, sh your grip on there. I guess it, 
I guess you would have to have that guy on first and then your light last. So there you go. It's quite a quite a little unit. It's honestly not that heavy. It, they they definitely did really good with the weight on everything. Um, I think with an iPhone 14 on this though, you're going to see this kind of give way. I don't know if that tightens up any more than it is. It doesn't seem to. I'll play around with it. Oh, I guess it does loosen and tighten, but it feels like it's fully tight right now. And that's with all that weight on there. No phone even. Yeah, you can make that move. I don't know how well that's going to work out. I probably won't. And I, like I said, I haven't pulled the cellophane off the magnets yet, so they're not quite sticking as good as they could. But it just goes together nice and neat. All right. And we'll be doing some other testing, obviously, with this. And then, of course, I did get with, like I said, I got the package that has the big guy in it, too, because mine has some broken pieces from a year's worth of use. Cold shoe is actually super glued in, and I broke the quarter 20. Again, this is also a wireless power bank. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you get plenty of little magnets, you get plenty of chargers, you get a SIM injection tool. There was a competition, unfortunately, because of a COVID outbreak in the warehouse. Um, yeah, it was supposed to be in by October 31st for the reviews, and it is now November 18th. So I'd say I missed that by a bit. Not my doing, though. It was ordered. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. So this guy here, you get a, a manual how it works, which I do recommend reading because the first time you set it up is a little bit unusual. There are lenses, you can get cases through shift cam. They have a whole ecosystem, but I use the M mounts because that's what I already have purchased from Moment and they work with a small rig cage. There's actually a 17 millimeter thread you can also get backer that you can get, but I don't use threaded lenses. And pop this guy open. You get a really nice kept charging cable with this one. A nice braided one, and it's pretty long. It's USB C, USB C. Um, you get inserts for smaller devices. I don't really want to open this bag because they're really little pieces and once you lose them, you'll never find them again. But there's little side rails that go inside of it and little fillers on the rails. And again, this one does come with the case too, just like the other one. Now, as you saw, my, my original one is a black one. I decided to go with the ash, which is a gray on this one, a little brighter. Read before use, center your phone. Now with the Rode Wireless Go connected and everything, my phone doesn't sit all the way back to here, but I like this little indent. I've mentioned this in my vlogs many a times, how it's got a little indent because the cable kind of sits back in here um, when you're plugged in. So, but again, you got QI charging and then you press and hold and you'll launch your Bluetooth for shutter button. Nice little shutter button. I really wish though that these guys or they'd come out with their own camera app like um, the, the Mimo app and they'd actually be able to put like a toggle here for zooming with the native camera app or with their own app. Um, I think Mimo would be a really good one to connect with with uh, DJI because you could actually use their app with a grip instead of just using it with the gimbal. So that little guy comes off, but these little guys come out. There's already little rubber rails. Now the 14 Pro Max fits in here pretty pretty snug. You gotta watch what case you use. Um, the last case I had was a UGA, UAG, UAG, Urban Armory Gear. And it had feet on the bottom of it and the feet hit here and here and it kind of cranked the phone like this and popped out of these. Now this is nice and snug still because it's brand new. Mine's a little on the weak side in this spring area, but it's been a year of use in and out of this case. These cases do hold up pretty well. I actually did when I ripped this guy out of the bottom of it. Let me show you in my other one. Where did I put it? 
on the floor. So I actually bought this guy here on Amazon. And when I just try to thread into this, this thread's no good and I didn't know it until just now. So the my quarter 20 thread is actually garbage on this. But I don't mount it too much. But you do have a port for charging it. And it still works on this one because this does need charge, obviously. There's two of the 16480 batteries, I believe, in it. I think they're like 3200 milliamps each. So you get 6400 milliamp charging on this. So it'll charge your, I recommend if you're going to do a long day of filming with any of these, you turn these on first and let the battery in this die and then let your phone run itself out last because it'll kill this way faster charging the phone at a low percentage. It, you'll just, you'll never get there. This will die before it ever gets your phone, you know, to a hundred percent again. So wear the battery out on this, keep your phone charged the whole time and then let your phone switch over once these are gone. All right, so there's that and that. And then how much smaller is <coughs> the new one? Gives you an idea. So if you're minimalistic, the uh, snap grip may be a good way to go. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, so this is the shift cam uh, pro grip, snap grip, and a light shoe and pod. Oops, I'm zoomed, sorry. Let's go back. So. Alrighty, well we are recording and it does fit in the cage. So when the new one comes, see the problem I have here with this particular cage is, I can't really tell, but the lenses don't light, line up 100%. I mean, you, it's usable. The LiDAR sensor doesn't line up, which is a problem. You can see the white around that, or the silver around that lens right there. And the other lens is way down. So I don't know. I didn't actually do much with this in the past, um, movement-wise. So my stabilization may get goofed up. Obviously, the zoom lenses should work fine. I mean, 0.5 works, but I think if I move around too much, it might start to goof up. Now let's see what's like to switch hands with it. It's actually not too bad. I'm not going to, I'm not too bad about it. the problems. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay. Popped off already. Oh boy. Mm, this might not be for me, but for some people it might work out real well, but it's turning on me quite a bit. So I'm not sure how much I like that. The other one kind of got loose too near the end here, but it still works. All right, puppy's at the park. Put this thing back on so I can hear it chime. And silent. Oh, man. There's another little doggy over here, too. It's mix. He was, it looks like a Jack Russell mix. I'm not sure. He's eyeing up Priya. <laughs> All right. Mateo's already got two peas down there, Priya. On the way home, we're going to stop at McDonald's and get them some... Some snacks for her gotcha day. Cheeseburgers and nuggets. Cheeseburgers and nuggets. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's walk you walk. Oh, I gotta get an exercise going here. So we are on the original shift cam still. I plugged the other two in and they were both at one bar. So I did film that one clip with it, with the snap grip. Um, <laughs> raw on the back of the phone, it, it did pop off on me that one time. The MagSafe Apple case seems to stick way better because it's got the double magnet um, on there. Although the phone should have that too. I don't know. <sighs> a little concerning, but uh, we'll figure it out as we go. And I'll do some test runs. I might have to get Tim with me at some point and give him this shift cam and the flip and let him film. Um, that way it's easier to get the footage instead of using his own phone. She's snowing when we left the house. We're supposed to get some flurries today. Wasn't really supposed to get here until about five o'clock. It was cold, and we drove out of it. And we, were, we just came over to Hashbon. Not gonna go. This McDonald's is right here on the Crick Road, so we'll just hit that one and then go home. I'm just gonna probably walk to the bridge, film that a little bit, and then we'll, we'll call today because uh, it's gonna be an, an early day for me because I gotta get good night's sleep. I slept three hours last night. I don't know if I mentioned that this morning. I think I did. Yeah. When we got on the recliner and wasn't tired and tried, you know, started watching stupid things. Didn't make me tired. Had a cup of tea. Napped a teeny bit. 
woke up with dry contacts. I think I said all this earlier. But I gotta get a good night's sleep tonight. I am exhausted right now. We're gonna watch a movie. I don't know what movie, but probably gonna fall asleep during it. So, that'll be alright. Gotta just take these guys for a little walk here and then a little bit. Walking requires us to. Oh, never mind. You're doing your business. Okay. Boom, boom, number two, because this little guy's already done his. Alright, we made it to my bridge. Old railroad bridge that they've kept for walking. So this used to be a railroad. He's done that quite a few places around here. They convert them over to walking paths. This one here is just full of it. She's going. And this one here is lagging behind like crazy. Me, I'm freezing my took us off. But not ice it up yet. Once we get some icy, this thing has a tendency to turn a really cool blue green color. So. Not quite yet, though. Oh, that's cold. That is just cold. <laughs> Isn't it cold, Priya? She says, I'm loving it. She's like, I want to go home. <laughs> that's it. I'm at wind in my face. Nose is running. The tail wants to go home. It wants to get warm again. So. They got a little outing. I didn't need to go far. Somebody's all excited for her cheeseburger and her and her and her, whatchamacallit's. French fries and chicken nuggets. Glad I looked through the bag while I was getting my, well, the one tea is mixed. Shit, I didn't mark it. Oh well. If one of them's not very sweet, then it's mine. <laughs> and I mixed the unsweetened with the sweetened. But uh, they didn't give me my fries because it's fr fry Friday. So you can either get a medium free or you can get a large for a dollar. I think it's better value to get the large for a dollar. Because I think they're like $4.79 for a large fry. And then they they did granted they did overdo my pies. So kind of made out on that one a little bit. I got two apple and I only I got four. I got or no pumpkin. I got pumpkin, apple, and, and pumpkin. So now I'm getting out of this road could be an absolute nightmare or it could go smooth depends how that guy goes like he should i can go yay okay i don't know why i'm taking it so easy the drinks are in the holders instead of in that stupid piece of crap cardboard they give you now is garbage you need like three of them to actually support one drink oh i'm beat i want to take a nap so bad i'm gonna get flurries again started out left the park. I don't know when we'd see some on the walk. Maybe a little more interesting, but it's flaring now. Five o'clock is really supposed to hit us. It's supposed to get a nice little squall if the storm stays on track. I'd be a teeny bit concerned for tomorrow morning. I mean, we get snow overnight, but it doesn't matter. This guy will get there no problem. I'm going to try to get up a little bit on the early side anyway just for my first run out there to get myself a good timing. I'm going to probably be about an hour before I'm supposed to be there. Measure my time and then I'll just punch in appropriately. Yeah. We're going to get winter weather I think this year in, in pretty good uh, fashion. More of a normal winter for central Pennsylvania than we normally have gotten over the last few years. All right, well, we just got a, an actual alert for snow. So, yeah, we might get hammered here tonight. Uh, there it goes again. Oh, there goes the Samsung going off now. We're literally getting, you know, blinding snow alerts, snow, uh, whiteout conditions. I'm glad we're home for the night. That's crazy. That's not good either. Happy got you, didn't bring up. Yeah, you're just gonna get a little kibble later, I think. <laughs> the tail gets to celebrate too. You get to celebrate too with a cheeseburger? Oh, it's so good. So good.